Lord Ailey, Provost, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon, and it's very nice uh, to see you all here. Thank you for coming. As chairman of the Black Watch uh, Museum Trust, uh, I should like to say what a huge uh, pleasure and privilege it is uh, to welcome the weeping poppies and all of you uh, to Bauhausie for what is undoubtedly a, a very special occasion. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank a number of people, though I hope that they'll forgive me if I don't do so by name. Uh, they have collectively worked so very hard to make this installation possible. First, the Provost and Council of Perth and Kinross for initiating the idea and for their great support during the preparations that have culminated today. Then the 1418 Now team who have made the UK wide tour of poppies possible. Several local businesses have been most generous in the sponsoring of aspects of the project. Nearer to home, the Poppy project management team here at Balhousie, the castle and museum staff and volunteers, and the army of Poppy partners, all of whom have worked enormously hard to make this all possible. And finally, it's a real delight to have the artist Paul Cummins and the designer Tom Piper here with us today. Their work has of course been hugely admired ever it, since it surfaced, if that's the right word, at the Tower of London a couple of years ago. And now here we can see exactly why that work was so admired. The idea and the execution have been a genuine inspiration to so many of us. A huge thank you to you all. The Black Watch experience of the Great War was by no means unique, for all regiments went through the same grim four and a half years of fighting. But for us, it is particularly poignant that we should have here this flow of poppies that is of course a tribute to all the fallen of the war. It's poignant because it opens only a day or so before the opening of the Battle of Somme 100 years ago, and because it creates a moving connection to our Great War Memorial behind us over there. There on that wall, day by day, a poppy cross is placed on the exact centenary of the death of a Black Watch man in the Great War. By the end of 2018, there will be nearly 9,000 such crosses, not only on the wall, but spilling over onto the grass, just as here with these wonderful ceramic poppies. The combined message of these two installations could hardly be more moving or more profound. We hope that visitors to this place between now and the 25th of September when the weeping poppies will depart to another place, Carnarvon, in fact, will be as moved by that message as all of us are moved here today. I now have great pleasure in handing the microphone to Mr. Nigel Hines, executive producer of 1418 Now.